no Play 5. Just like in Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, you'll be taking control of Ethan Winters. You'll make your way from the village to the castle. Players will need to get in and search for their kidnapped daughter. Mm. As you've noticed by now, Resident Evil Village keeps the first person perspective. We think it really draws players into the detailed world we've created. Eu gosto de primeira pessoa, mano. O spoiler? Que spoiler, cara? You'll see a lot of those little details. Você vai procurar a filha? Ah, que bonitinho. The team put a ton of effort into creating a truly authentic feel. From art design to technology, everything ties in great and creates some beautiful visuals. <laughs> Now it's time to meet some of the castle denizens. As you'd expect, a warm welcome's not really what's in store for Ethan. <laughs> Ave Maria. Gente, ela me arrastou pela batata da perna, mano. Now, let's take a look at him. Well, well, Ethan Winters. You escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? E lá igual a legenda, hein? Let's see how special you are. Mano, ela é alta, né? Shifting gears a bit. We're finally going to show off some combat. É o combate. It's not just about shooting. Guarding will also be an important part of the game. Tá com espada na mão. Each type of enemy has their own distinct way of fighting. So you'll need to change up your strategy to defeat oh. them. Oh. Everyone knows what to do with red barrels, right? Caralho, mas atirando desse jeito aí, irmão, você vai precisar de muito Some barril, velho. Remember a similar management system in Resident Evil 4. This time around, we've added crafting, which allows you to create items such as first aid and ammo. Você é louco, mano. Oh. There's also an assortment of weapons to find and utilize throughout the game. O jogo tem uma vibe meio Bloodborne, né, mano? O, a arte assim, né? Não sei o nome desse daí, que ele é uma meio vitoriano, sei lá, mano. The merchant makes a return. This time he's known as the Duke. Da hora. You'll be going to him to buy and sell weapons. Gótico, é things. gótico isso. The director wanted to give him a unique look, and you'll da often hora. find him in different situations each time you encounter him. He's an interesting fella. <laughs> Smash away with your trusty knife. There's plenty of items to find in your trap. Herb. Wait, do you hear that? No, oh, you're not. And we've also got extra objectives outside of the main ones. Of course, it goes without saying that there'll be plenty of puzzles to solve for players to move forward. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, and uh, plenty of surprises to keep you on your toes. <sighs> Que que é isso, mano? I haven't cut open a man in a while. Let me string you up, slice your jugular, and just walk. Well, that's one way to end the video. Acabou? 
Oh yeah, baby, gameplay exclusiva, vambora. You'll be taking control of Ethan Winters. Controlar a história do Ethan, continuar a história do Ethan é legal também. Olha o tamanho desse castelo. Ah, eu gostei muito do Resident Evil 7, sério, em primeira pessoa, vai ser muito bom. É tão bonito, né? E é tão intenso. Mas eu passei nervoso no 7. Oh, vamos zerar o 7 de novo em live, chat? O que vocês acham? Filha, você viu? É, a gente vai salvar a filha dele, né? E, e mano, e, e aquela mina que colou ali com os mosquitinhos e tal, mano, ela era bem novinha, será? Ah, não, mas ela é uma das filhas da, da mina, né? Por que tá enchendo o saco do item de novo? Quer dizer, primeiro foi a, 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 a noiva dele, né? Agora é a filha. Nossa, moleque, olha esse jogo, mano. Isso aí é pra infartar qualquer um, filho. Everything ties in great and creates some beauty. Olha, nossa, essa engine é muito foda. Nossa. Ai, ai, essa persona. Então, ó, isso aí são as filhas, ó. Ai, ó, da hora, da hora, da hora. A warm welcome's not really what's in store. Beleza. Ai! Meu joelhinho. Man, blood. Eita, cara! <risos> já vai começar daquele jeito. A gente já conhece aí. O quê? Vamos dar uma olhada nele. Uau, Ethan Winters. Ele escapou do meu estúpido irmão mais novo. Vamos ver o quanto especial você é. Beleza, então tá explicado por que estão pegando o pé do Ethan ainda. Ai, meu coraçãozinho! Não vai passar uma agulha, moleque. Olha isso. Oh, pega a espada, será? Ah, eu odeio ficar bloqueando assim, dá uma aflição, velho. O machado caiu no chão. Olha o... Everyone knows what to do with red barrels, right? <risos> Clássico. <risos> Olha o inventário, que lindo! <risos> Nossa, que gostoso, velho! Olha, eles puxaram do Resident Evil 4, mano, o sistema de inventário. Ai, que gostoso! <risos> Nossa. Mano, isso vai ser muito gostoso. Eita! <risos> Olha esse vendedor! Mano. O Duke. Ele vende arma, ele vende upgrade, ele vende... Parece que era crafting, né? Ai, que da hora. Ai, que da hora, velho. Smash away with your trusty knife. Como sempre, né, faquinha? <coughs> Plantinha verde. Caralho, o jogo vai ser muito bom, chat. Ô, esse ano vai ser embaçado, hein, chat. And we've also got extra objectives outside of the main ones. Beleza. Of course it goes without saying that there'll be plenty of puzzles to solve. Ah, por favor, muito puzzle. Eu adoro puzzles de Resident Evil, velho. Plenty of surprises to keep you on your toes. E aí, ó. <risos> Essas minas vão encher o saco o jogo inteiro, velho. Vai ser incrível. I haven't cut open a man in a while. Let me string you up, slice your jugular, and just walk. Olha que pressão da desgrama. Well, that's one way to end the video. Bora, bora, bora. Capturado no PlayStation 5, hein, galera? Just like in Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, you'll be taking control of Ethan Winters.
You'll make your way from the village to the castle. Players will need to get in and search for their kidnapped daughter. As you've noticed by now, Resident Evil Village keeps the first-person perspective. We think it really draws players into the detailed world we've created. Saiu da vila, foi pro castelo, eles cortam um trecho óbvio, né? Tá bonito o negócio, cara. You see a lot of those little details come to life here. Tá bonito. Claro que aqui a resolução tá baixa, né? Você jogando no videogame bem melhor. The team put a ton of effort into creating a truly authentic feel. Eu acho que lembro um bocado do castelo do Re4 às vezes. Art design to technology. Everything ties in great and creates some beautiful visuals. Bonito, cara. Bonito demais, velho. Now it's time to meet some of the castle denizens. As you'd expect, a warm welcome's not really what's in store for Ethan. Ai, cara, de novo, Ethan. Caraca, maluco. Now, let's take a look at him. Nossa, mano, a mulher gigante, well, velho. Well, Ethan Winters. You escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? Let's see how special you are. Hum, hum, interessante, mano, interessante. Shifting gears a bit. We're finally going to show off some combat. Isso. Ó, oh, essas são as criaturas que já tinham vazado há muito tempo que os caras falaram que carregava espada e tal. Just about shooting. Guarding will also be an important part of the game. Tipo reset, o reset é assim. Pelo menos eles agem tipo um zumbi, né? Legal. So you need to change up your strategy to defeat them. Taca samba. Everyone knows what to do with red barrels, right? Sim. O inventário. Ah, tipo R4, mano. <laughs> This time around, we've added crafting, which allows you to create items such as first aid and ammo. A maleta do R4, velho. Parece, né? There's also an assortment of weapons to find and utilize throughout the game. Ó, oh, show de bola. Mais sniper, mano. Ó oh, o vendedor aí, ó. I've been waiting for Mercante. How do you know my name? Anyone who is anyone has heard of the likes of you. The merchant makes a return. This time he's known as the Duke. The Duke. You'll be going to him to buy and sell weapons, amongst other things. The Duke. The director wanted to give him a unique look, and you'll often find him in different situations each time you encounter him. He's an interesting huh. fella. Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Caraca, mano. Oh. Continua as pólvoras, viu? Erva, padrão, né? Padrão. Nossa, o bagulho é cheio de sangue. Você ouviu isso? E nós também temos extra objetivos fora dos main ones. Ih! Of course, it goes without saying that there'll be plenty of puzzles to solve Opa! for players to move forward. Curto, curto. Puzzle, curto. Oh, and, uh... Plenty of surprises to keep you on your toes. Isso me lembra muito Resident Evil 7. Que isso? Que isso? Botou parasita. I haven't cut open a man in a while. Let me string you up, slice your jugular, and just watch. Caraca, mano. That's one way to end the video. Eu não acho que vai ser um formato de gameplay que vai ser limitado pela geração anterior, sabe? Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. You'll be taking control of Ethan Winters. You'll make your way from the village to the castle. 
players will need to get in and search for their kidnapped daughter. As you've noticed by now, Resident Evil Village keeps the first-person perspective. We think it really draws players into the detailed world we've created. Eu gosto da perspectiva em primeira pessoa no Resident Evil 7. Eu gosto de terceira pessoa também, eu não tenho problema nenhum com algum dos formatos, só que animal. You'll see a lot of those little details come to life here. Esse é um ton of effort into creating a truly authentic feel. Um game que eu daria preferência de jogar no PC para poder mirar no mouse. Art design to technology. Everything ties in great and creates some beautiful visuals. Now it's time to meet some of the castle denizens. As you'd expect, a warm welcome's not really what's in store for Ethan. Man blood. <laughs> ah, now, let's take a look at him. Wow. Well, Ethan Winters. Ethan Winters. Você fugiu dos jogos idiotas do meu irmão. Vamos ver o quão especial você é. Shifting gears a bit, we're finally going to show off some combat. It's not just about shooting. Guarding will also be an important part of the game. Shotgun pistola. So you need to change up your strategy to defeat them. Meu Deus. Everyone knows what to do with red barrels, right? Some of you will remember a similar management system in Resident Evil 4. This time around, we've added crafting, which allows you to create items such as first aid and ammo. Pelo visto, vão pender um pouco para ação, então. Da hora. Estive aguardando por você, senhor, senhor Winters. Como você sabe meu nome? Qualquer um já ouviu falar de você. This time he's known as the Duke. You'll be going to him to buy and sell weapons, amongst other things. Da hora. The director wanted to give him a unique look, and you'll often find him in different situations each time you encounter him. He's an interesting fella. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Smash away with your trusty knife. Bem, Sr. Resident Evil 4, isso. Tá, tá meio que, um, pra mim, um mix de Resident Evil 4 com o 7, o que eu tô vendo aqui. É claro que ele vai conseguir se defender disso, né? Oh, beleza. I haven't cut open a man in a while. Let me string you up, slice your jugular, and just walk. Ela falou que não entrou num homem há muito tempo e ela iria estrangular a nossa jugular. Muito bacana. That's one way to end the video.